How does technology influence women's sexuality? Is it possible to have too much sex? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Technology can influence women's sexuality in various ways, from providing access to information and online sexual education to facilitating communication with long-distance partners, using sexual apps and devices, and viewing pornography. Its impact varies depending on how it is used and by whom. The amount of sex that is too much varies from person to person. For some, frequent sexual activity is healthy and satisfying, while others may feel overwhelmed. The key is communication and consensus with the partner. In Japan, sex education tends to be more focused on biology and reproduction, with less emphasis on emotional aspects and interpersonal relationships. However, due to easy access to online pornography, many young people obtain information about sex from non-educational sources. In contemporary Japanese society, manga and anime often address topics related to sexuality and interpersonal relationships, providing young people with an alternative source of information on these subjects. Kama Sutra in Contemporary Literature Many contemporary authors have referenced the Kama Sutra in their works, exploring its cultural significance and relevance in the modern world. Kama Sutra in Music some song lyrics and music videos make references to the Kama Sutra, using its concepts and positions as metaphors for sensuality and passion. Kama Sutra-inspired tattoos. Some people choose tattoos based on the Kama Sutra as a way to express their connection to sensuality and eroticism, using symbols and figures from the ancient text. Key communication. Open and honest communication is crucial in open relationships. Couples must establish clear boundaries, discuss their needs and concerns, and maintain constant communication for the relationship to function. Lack of sexual education. Despite the importance of sexual education, many societies lack adequate sexual education programs, leading to misunderstandings and health risks. Latex and leather clothing fetishism. Latex and leather clothing fetishism involves sexual attraction towards tight and shiny garments, such as latex suits or leather jackets. These garments may symbolize power, dominance, or simply be aesthetically appealing to those with this fetish. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Leather and latex fetishism. This fetish involves an attraction to the use of leather, latex, or vinyl garments, either as a form of dress in sexual contexts or as part of specific role-playing scenarios. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Lifestyle factors. Factors such as excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and sedentary lifestyle can contribute to premature ejaculation by affecting sexual function and overall health. Love and sexual desire. Romantic love and sexual desire are two different aspects of a relationship. While love focuses on emotional connection, sexual desire involves physical attraction. Male and female orgasm. Although there are similarities in the physiology of orgasm between men and women, there are also significant differences, such as duration and intensity, as well as the ability to experience multiple orgasms, which vary from person to person. Masturbation and menstrual cycle. Some women experience an increase in sexual desire and frequency of masturbation during certain phases of their menstrual cycle, such as ovulation. Masturbation and orgasm.
female masturbation can lead to orgasm, but some women also enjoy the process without necessarily reaching climax, focusing on exploration and pleasure. Men in relationships tend to masturbate more than singles. This is because regular sexual activity can increase testosterone levels, thereby boosting sexual desire. This cycle is an interesting phenomenon that illustrates the relationship between sexual activity and body chemistry. Masturbation as part of sexuality. Masturbation is a common and healthy way to explore sexuality and provide oneself with pleasure. Although it has often been stigmatized, masturbation can be a safe and satisfying practice in the context of healthy sexuality. Masturbation in older age. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. In some indigenous cultures in Latin America, such as the Maya in Guatemala, there are ancestral traditions that include teaching about sexuality as an integral part of life and individual worldview. Medical fetishism. Medical fetishism involves sexual attraction to medical scenarios, uniforms, or instruments. This can include role-playing where one person assumes the role of doctor or patient, exploring the sensuality and vulnerability associated with medical care. Medical fetishism. Medical fetishism involves sexual attraction towards medical scenarios, uniforms, or instruments. This can include role-playing where one person takes on the role of doctor or patient, exploring the sensuality and vulnerability associated with medical care. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. Mental stimulation. Mental stimulation plays an important role during foreplay. Whispered words, compliments, and fantasy creation can increase arousal and anticipation. In Mexico, online and social media-based sexual education campaigns targeting teenagers have been created using language and visual content adapted to their youth culture to address sexuality topics in an accessible and relevant way. Mobile device consumption. With the proliferation of smartphones and tablets, more people are consuming pornography on mobile devices, making access and privacy easier. MRI studies. MRI studies have shown that the brain areas activated during orgasm are similar in both genders, suggesting that the experience is more similar than previously thought. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, involving one orgasm after another without a refractory period, enabling continuous pleasure. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. In the Muslim world, sex education can vary depending on the country and religious interpretations. In some places, sex education focuses on abstinence before marriage and reproduction within marriage, while in other places it may be more open but still subject to cultural and religious restrictions. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,